my friends, welcome back to this Stellaris uh, playthrough uh, slash guide. I'm Daily Fix and we're playing as the Commonwealth of Men. And I think we might be having a very, very difficult future ahead of ourselves. And let me explain to you why. Now these fellas, um, they are now domineering. And they have uh, already said that... They wanted me as a vessel. I've of course rejected all of that. Uh, unfortunately, they will not be very pleased. However, uh, to my make matters even worse, I'm going to be claiming a few systems. And I'm only claiming a few because I'm quite certain they are going to be attacking me. And if they are, then I would really like to find myself at a position... Uh, where I could at least do something. It doesn't have to be a, a lot. Like, like if I can get towards this planet, um, we have a very good defensible position towards them on this end, and they will definitely start uh, making a move towards my systems. That is, without a doubt, it, it is going to happen. Uh, so I'm actually quite worried that this attempt is uh, is going to be <laughs> a bit of a failure. But we're not dead yet and we have no need to assume a, uh, a failed position. What we need to be doing is focusing us um, a tiny bit more. But look at see, a year 80, 50 alloys. And I kind of want to push more alloys out of... Uh, out of this um, also what we need to be doing is making sure that we get some more of these amenities on planets like these uh, we could go with a district but we are currently lacking minerals let's buy a few more because we do have the finances for that um, let's see and at least it will create some amenities. We also, we, 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 we were requiring houses to offset, of course, our available jobs. So it's not all, um, all lost. Mm, don't think we need to do something. One more and we'll get a additional. We are very much behind on research. Uh, I think I'm going to blame it somewhat on the start because we had it rough. We had it rough very early on. Uh, usually it is uh, definitely not something that we would like. We need 10 population on here. Mm. I'd say let's do... Let's try a city district. And uh, we continue over here. Uh, we have so many jobs over here. and I think we need to steer um, the population a tiny bit. As you can see we have 3 available at the moment. There's way too many jobs that this we yeah wow the last one is going to die but I think we um, we want to offset this a tiny bit less we do need food uh, we already knew that but we are going to be requiring a lot less of these look at this housing is is going down but the amount of jobs isn't uh, we don't need all of these. I'll keep one for now, but we need to start treating this as a very, very early on um, planet. I do think that we are making enough. Mm. Let's do it like this. So, seven people, ten houses. This will definitely... This looks a lot better. Um, two jobs available. Um, Twelve houses. Five jobs available. Uh, that would be one less. There you go. That should be fine. Uh, 13 houses, eight jobs available. And this will also this will also give us a tiny bit more energy. As you can see, the upkeep there is one energy. And I should have done this earlier on. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't. Um, oh well, what can you do? 10 available jobs. And uh, one of these is going to be science. I think that is going to be extremely important. Um, let's see how much did I destroy. Okay, maybe a tiny bit. We can actually make you... Let's see. 
once we have the minerals, we can actually make you into... Mm, I think I've destroyed too much here. Why are you unemployed? Um, you should not take too long to get into um, alloys. So we're not, we're not going to be bo uh, worried about that for now. Uh, but like I was saying, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, this, uh, this series might have a bit of a, uh, a problem. Now they are moving away their fleets and that is absolutely what I like to see. There are two different kind of destroyers in here. None of them are using missiles. Now missiles do a lot of damage to shields and they're using shields quite heavy there. They have point defense so missiles just is no longer an option that is so unfortunate is there something else that we could do to run against shields mm. let's see this is 1 to 18 7 to 21 so i think these weapons still are a lot better than the others so i'm still going with the uh the interceptor corvettes we have 40 of them uh we'll have more firepower than them because they are running point defense we're not using those uh, are we still getting destroyers that have point defense let's take a quick look over here so we have the picket class uh, we're going to retrofit you into the interceptors Seven, uh, 40 and 20 now once this once this fleet is done once this one is done what we will do is create a new fleet and we need a fleet to make sure that we can um like all co all corvettes all corvettes uh and it will be a rapid strike force it will just go towards these systems and take as much of it as possible um, just so we don't have to worry about stations like these that are most likely about... Um, how much would it be? Like 4k? Can we actually see in here? No, we can't. Tiny bit of a shame. But we definitely want to start um, upgrading all of these. Uh, we're making a good amount here in energy. So I'm thinking you are a slave. That's why you are unable to get a decent job around here. And that is a, uh, a tiny bit of a shame. Mm, this is all turning out well. We're going to be using a lot of minerals. So let's build one of these then. How about you? So zero jobs. And I think we're going to be doing it. We are going to be focusing on research. Uh, however, that will also hit our consumer good. So... We could can build consumer goods on this planet. Maybe on this one. No, there's actually four available jobs. Uh, so I don't want to be doing that. Sometimes we just have to spread things out. I'm really worried about these guys. Um, speaking of worried, how are you doing? Look, you don't like me as bad as the others. Uh, we have only one influence. That is a bit of a shame. Um, what can we do to increase... Conquest. Uh, Imperial hammering of hammering or whatever is this uh, an overlord. So we need a sort of a vessel We need to destroy a leviathan. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon No immigration We could break our Im immigration treaties Asserting dominance that is once again like uh, being an overlord uh, again with the Leviathan, so we're, I'm thinking that they are aiming towards the um, towards the relic world. What are you doing? Hmm. Okay, so by building research stations, these guys will be happy. Research without borders. Research treaties to three. Mm, but will it be enough? We're making 1.4. We can actually do a trade deal with you, right? So let's do a trade deal. Let's do the the one that we always do, like one alloy for 30. Oh, wow. That's actually not as much as I'd hoped. Let's do five. And let's do a tiny bit on energy here. There you go. 30 years. That should be enough. 
you're superior and neutral and that is what i desperately need what we need to be getting is a better research deal um they did accept that's great we don't want to declare rivalry hmm Okay, so the ball is rolling and it's going to take us a tiny bit of time. So, we have a worker that is unemployed. Yeah, and they cannot be specialists. We might have to consider granting citizenship to one of our slaves. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's horrible. You don't want to think about it, but we might have to do so. Let's take a quick look. Species. Who do we have the most of? So, we've got a bunch of you. You are uplifted. Um, I, am I okay with getting you? So, if we were to set rights to residents, the enmity usage will be less. And the pop... Uh, oh, wow. The pop political power is um, is going to be down living standards if i we got the basic submission wow that is unhappiness with everyone unemployed population have reduced happiness actually getting this up oh that would definitely cost me a lot of consumer goods maybe we should make that a standard uh, Although, yeah, it would make them happier. It, it would be 10% there. Can you see that? There you go. Slaves, 0 0.05. And this one is negative 10. So making all of our slaves like decent conditions, it will hurt us in consumer goods. It will make them happier. And happy slaves produce more. Military service, colonization rights, population control... No population control. Um, no migration. And slavery. Wow. I'm thinking we're going to be starting with the, uh, the decent conditions. And if we can get them off slaves and make them residents, we could probably get them towards... Uh, social welfare now we don't want to do this with all of them uh, as you can see that they can start to become everyone like unemployed pops have um, happiness but also produce unity they're only 10 they are 10 ben, and we can use them quite quite a lot actually hmm. i'm really debating if i should do this Look, we, we don't have um, the gene tailoring just yet. And as long as we don't, we cannot create a, a human population that's good in an arid present. So, uh, if we can make this one work for us. Hmm, trade is 100. So, we would lose 50 if we were to go for... Where are you? Trading policy consumer benefits and we would create um, really feel that I need to try this one okay let's go for consumer benefits let's do it so 80 and 10 we still have some unemployment so why not offset this right now by getting some more oh look at that plus 15 Ooh, maybe this was a good idea uh, also, these jobs are, are, are not filled yet. Um, food needs to go up. That is also a thing. Mining district. Generator district. We could actually get away with making you grow food. But we uh, let's speed up a tiny bit more because it's taking us too long. 148 also let us retrofit our fleet uh, because i'm really worried about this guys i really am worried about this 
a biological site has been pending. Yeah, okay, that's great. Thank you. Mm, three jobs available. You. Come on. Oh, someone is fighting someone. Oh. Wait a minute. Who the hell are you? These guys. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, you are going to be my new best friend. And let me try to explain why. All of its fleets are going to be away, right? So what we could do is beeline our fleets once they are upgraded towards these cap these uh, these planets and just stay here. And this would free up a lot, a lot of human humanoid species. I believe they're humanoid. No, they're plantoid. But they are on ocean world, so that's really good for my species. Oh, it's so interesting. Um, building speed reduced, building upkeep. Uh, additional housing, or we were going for the specialist output. That uh, was the one. Okay, so you're moving up. You were going to be building some more food. Come on, move away with your fleets. And, and you got a lot of them. Look at that. Seven, four, two, three. And, oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot. This all together is it, like 25k. And here we are. Here we are, guys. We are sitting at a whopping 6.5k. It's not good. We all know that, right? We definitely are going to have a issue if we can't fix the situation. What are you going to do? You are upgrading, right? I need you preparing to upgrade. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, let's finish or actually cancel both of these. Get back to our strike force over here and you should be upgrading then. Preparing for ship upgrade. 6.5 is what we have. It's not going to be the biggest change. I don't think so. And that's even more. Oh, there we go. Oh, you are going to be so screwed. They have to go through this town. I don't think they can actually get there. Uh, there is something horrible in here. There has to be. If they can manage to fight off those. Look, these guys actually kind of like us. Technology level has been superior. Oh, but you don't like your neighbor. Ooh, now these could be potentially good friends. I really need to keep an open mind about this. But look, we don't see... Well, actually, their fleets are gone. Hmm. Not all of them, though. And we're building up influence. I would really like to get some more, though. Be completely honest about that. Could you could you also grow just you know my own peoples? So let's see who actually would thrive on this. So Racket, we could also do it with Racket, of course. They 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 are able to live everywhere, so they would not be as bad. It's okay. They're just building these guys because they have an availability of seventy percent. They're not bad. Look at that food, habitability, and oh, I, I don't like the, the habitability is nice. This one I don't actually care much about. But we could actually. Ah, where are you? So that's these guys. And they're going to be quite in there. And they have a negative one in the trade points. Okay. So once you get gene tailoring, you can actually go and. Um, change these guys in the way that you like it. Uh, we don't have that. Uh, we have bold plan. I would like have, uh, to have humanoids. But we don't have any more. Uh, once we get there, we'll get there. Not much I can do for that right now. So, are you ready? Yes, you are. Okay, return home. Increase the fleet there. We're on 7k, which is a joke. But what can you do? Hmm, yeah, we don't care. This war is probably not going to end well for them. I have I have a bad feeling about this. The defender. Um, these guys are the defender, but I do believe so. 
Or are they taking this? No, they're not. These guys are just getting too big. And we would really benefit from getting someone in here. Now you're neutral and you're overwhelming. That is what's bringing this down as well. Closed borders. Let's open borders with them. That would help. A bit. Not too much. 44. Offer migration treaty. Trust is still going down. Hmm. Xenophobia. Yeah. You don't like that. Oh well. What can we do? What can we do about it? You generate a world. What's your problem? Unemployment. That's a big issue. I know, I know, everyone is unemployed at the moment. Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Oh, this trade deal is finally going to bring back some minerals. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to continue. Uh, um, we're going to continue until we die. And perhaps we can actually dominate these guys. It kind of depends on how I'm going to be playing this. I kind of am hoping that their fleet power is not going to be overwhelming. Against 14 to 25k, we will not do a lot. We all know that, right? These guys are insanely overpowering towards us. So that's not a... Um, yeah, that, that's just bad. That's just bad. Anyways, thank you for watching. I do hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.